What's up, everybody? I'm James. And I'm Roberts. And we're coming at yeah from Union Square. We've uh, selected a movie today to review for you. Black Mass with Johnny Depp. Going to go see the 5.30. Excited about it. It's supposed to be pretty interesting, pretty thrilling. Um, Johnny Depp plays a gangster, Whitey Bulger. Um, a lot of real history involved there with him playing the mob off the FBI, off the police, off another mob to become one of the most successful gangsters in American history. And he's one of the most fucked up human beings in American history, supposedly. That's what I've heard about. I don't know if that's actually true. We're gonna Sounds find like out. a normal day in Chicago. Or in the Johnny Depp lifestyle. Yeah. Um, it looks pretty cool. I'm always a little hesitant about when people have the gigantic glowing blue eyes. To me, it looks like they're a vampire. It's like the afterthought of when he was supposed to have that. Yeah. Um, but never did. Yeah. But I'm okay with that, you know, because this guy is a fucked up individual. So maybe kind of having that sort of semi-vampire fear involved will just help with the whole yeah, thing. I'm thinking like a little lizard action might help us with that yeah. cool facade of being a just straight up douchebag. <laughs> Or it may just be weird and it will take us out of the whole movie and we'll be like, Johnny Depp, what are you doing? Why are you doing this to us again? Kind of like how I felt after, oh, I don't know, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, you know? A little bit. Um, or the 23rd Pirates of the Caribbean movie, depending on when you're watching this video. The shark still um, looks fake. still looks fake. <laughs> um, so hopefully this is a return to Johnny Depp kind of uh, getting back to his really deep acting roots, digging deep, um, yeah. playing a character that's a real person rather than, you know, Keith Richards. Yeah, with a little bit Recently. of a viscerality to it rather than just reading it right off the page. Right. You know, like, it'll be a much better, I hope this will be a much better take. Yeah, no longer Johnny Depp the mannequin, but Johnny Depp the actor, who uh, is again. really good. Yeah. Really good. Um, all right. All right. Catch you later. Catch you later. All right. <laughs> that was wow. Quite the mm. experience. It was an experience. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Boy, Whew. boy, that happened, and it happened hard. Johnny Depp um, happened all over my face. Uh, we just saw um, <laughs> "Give Me My Damn Oscar" or "Black Mass." Um, just don't even nominate anyone. Just say Johnny Depp on the stage, please, because it kind of freaks me out, man freaked me out it was unbelievable and the context worked like for half the, the time half, half the, the time. time half the time they obviously did some cg yes they, they, made they them enhanced have it yeah like, like in the light. sunlight scene like yes. with him and his it kid it was amazing awesome it was like yeah it, it was fucking awesome anytime but it was a darker scene and then it was it was it was, it was, it was, it was pretty uh, but, his, but you didn't care no you didn't care because you terrifying. were too busy being freaked the fuck out by what How was going on behind his eyes if christopher walken had been raped by by, his, by Satan. By the devil. Yeah, like if Christopher Walken had been raped by the devil as a child, he would have grown to be Johnny Depp's portrayal of Whitey Bulger. I think that, that, that's about right. Oh, yeah, that's about right. Um, and let's talk about the other characters. The other actors in the movie were absolutely amazing. spectacular. Great. Like, amazing performances. Joel, like Edgerton, entire, oh, Joel someone Edgerton, someone who I don't really love all the time, but was amazing, yeah. very understated, very real. Usually like a furry little bear sidekick character, but yeah. fully real. Yeah, um, just amazing performance. Channeling uh, somewhere in between Joel Pesci and uh, 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 Jeremy Renner. Um, which I'd was give you that. kind of an odd combination, and but it works so somehow. And someone so big channeling Joe Pesci so well. Yeah, it, yeah. It was, it was really good. It um, was Joe Pesci without all the threat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. It was playing, amazing. Um, a, a very, very Bostonian politician. Very good. Um, you know, very, very statuesque. Very, oh, yeah. He, I think that they enhanced him CGI too, though. He had something going on with his it. chin. His some, jaw is It could have been some like, prosthetic he something. He had a very yeah. like, square... But, but again, guy. very understated. Like nothing, nothing that like took you out. Like, you know, oh, what's going no, on? No. And the plot Beautiful. line itself, it just the movie, the story like, telling was fantastic. I don't know how anyone will ever be able to go anywhere with Johnny Depp again. Oh um, no! Because... If he ever says, "Hey, do you want to come with me?" You say no. <laughs> you say no. Okay. <laughs> like I just, I mean this to protect you because I'm, he's the, he's the I'm new werewolf out. from Thriller. Like everything about him screams terrifying, and it was just. Bravo, yeah. Mr. Depp. <laughs> well Bravo. played, sir. Well so, played. I'm going to go uh, ahead and give 
my opinion, I give this movie like two thumbs up. Like, oh yeah, it's uh, a day. you gotta see it's it. It's not for so everybody. Good. No, oh, it's not for everybody. But if you like, if you've been like, man, I really loved Goodfellas. Why isn't there anything else like that around? That's no. the movie. Like Goodfellas, The Departed, anything in that vein of things, you will love. Oh, this it's movie. amazing! It's a great history, historical piece oh, yeah. too. The costuming is phenomenal. Every drab brown tone of the seventies. Oh, the seventies and early eighties. Like over. You, you, you see it. Every it's a great time capsule. Oh, it's like, great. From the phones that they pick up, you're like, yeah, oh, yeah. That, that's it right the coffee there. Coffee mugs, the lapels, the way things are sewn, the way that. Suit jackets still kind of look like bathrobes. They're so wraps. Like it was amazing. It was. A, I de- definitely can agree, though. Absolutely. Like, don't bring grandma to this Two movie. Two thumbs up. Don't Two bring the up. kids to the movie. Um, Little kids will not, not enjoy know. it. In fact, they might have nightmares. Or if they do enjoy it, uh, you should take them to counseling immediately. Immediately. That's not good. If you have like six-year-old saying, "Sweet mom, I yeah. want to be just like him when I grow up." No. But but just fa- fantastic across the board. The direction, um, the the score was understated. Another understated performance by Ke- uh, Kevin Bacon. Oh my God! And a really Kevin really Bacon. good one. Like really good. Did he, he's not going to win an Oscar. No, but he was perfect for what he was doing. And which he has so many more links in the Six Degrees of Kevin Bacon because <laughs> of this one star-studded crazy ass movie. <laughs> yep yep. Um, the, the the women were all good. I mean, although they were mostly there to be intimidated and or murdered. Yeah, there was a lot um, of filler. I mean, they really t- it was. It it was a period piece, so obviously yeah. it was very... But then most everybody was there to be uh, murdered. Dead. Yeah. Um, Rory, Cochran, yeah. Uh, Rory Cochran. Rory From freaking Days to Confused. Um, was awesome. Like, he's, he's getting older. It's, it's okay. kind of weird to see. Um, but, but his transition between the beginning and then at the end where he's kind of talking in an interview, you see the, 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 uh, the journey that his life has taken him on. And Absolutely. It, it's fantastic. It's, it's all over his face. It's amazing. And they bring in two characters in the third act. And it's one of the first movies that I've seen that they introduce a main supporting lead in the FBI plus a completely random girl character that uh, just was a filler role, a five a five role co star or st- five line co star yeah. role, and they were both completely fine. Like I completely understood yeah. why they did it. And usually you're like, "What are you doing right now?" But it worked. It was great. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, two thumbs up. Definitely go see it. Um, I don't give it much of a stoner rating for those of you out there who are looking for uh, You're some not going direct to enhance your pleasure. No, no. I, I would say um, drink a coffee before that, watch this movie, um, and then take a deep breath and smoke afterward. Or go have a drink. This, this, who? Whoa. Ooh, um, I'm, I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go hug someone and then check their hands for guns. Twice. Twice. So yeah, go see this movie. Um, and then um, go see them all again when the Oscars happen because they're all going to be there. It's going to be amazing. That's me. See you later.